Okay, hello dear friends. Here I am at Stanford University, the Cantor Museum, and uh, there are some new exhibitions coming in, and uh, some new things. It's quite interesting. So let's have a walk and uh, and uh, appreciate, or study, or evaluate, or critic, whichever way you want. Modern art is uh, an open door for us to critic art because you can feel that uh, you can participate in the art dialogue, right? Okay, here is an exhibition new to Cantor. Cantor is the name of the museum and there are some new things coming in. This particular one, I feel that uh, after coming here all the time and seeing always the same thing, it is quite refreshing to see something new and different. This one is, uh, is uh, it's just uh, a very interesting texture art. It is, must be all you on canvas, right? All you on canvas. So the artist might uh, use uh, the palette knife or a stick or something. And the good thing about it, or from further away you see this piece of artwork it's quite uh, the color is very harmonious and the color transition is smooth and comfortable there are different colors three primary colors but those primary colors are break down through blending um, what do I say? So the main theme are three primary colors, or the color is used within a certain control. Sometimes when I have class with the students, they use the three primary colors, but at the end, it's all brown color. It's all this. Uh, uh, messy and uh, dirty color. Well, it might be the student's interest, but uh, if you control the color and use it in the right amount at the right time with the right, um, right separation, it can come out this beautiful harmonious color while there is contrast you see the blue and the orange comes out there. It just, uh, you feel that it's a family of hot and a family of cold and a tiny little bit uh, blended, but uh, it's two distinct family. I do not know what the artist was thinking about when he did this painting. To tell you the truth, maybe the artist himself did not know what he was trying to do. <laughs> but um, it comes out this uh, pleasant color with interesting texture. It's something maybe someone has done, but at that moment the artist just uh, finally come out with such an art form, an art style. It's, um, it's just a refreshing and eye-opening. So I enjoy to see something new and different. The artist used different color and uh, different uh, texture, different technique. Or different tools. It's um, a modern art. It's quite hard for us to to 
to judge. There is no a certain standard. Everyone can do it, but、uh, when you see it, you can do it. You are nothing special. The artist who makes themselves special is that they made it without seeing other people doing it. They might be the first person who think about this method. Anyway, let's just not critic too much and.、Uh, Stand in front of it. Use your own imagination, or use your own critical mindset to appreciate or to critic this piece of artwork. So the artist is Dashiell Mendy. Dashiell Mendy. Here is another piece of work, must be from the same artist Dashiell Mendy, and you can kind of start to understand that this artist use color lightly, nicely, and harmoniously. It、um, it is、uh, a soft, tender color, and not too much violence, not too much,、um, too much contrast or strike. It's just、uh, very peaceful and calm. What? Well, there is strength in the heart. So this one must be using.、Uh, Using sharpie or marker, if I say I think this one is very much like using sharpie, handwritten with sharpie, the characters handwritten with purple and blue sharpie, purple and blue is a is a beautiful harmonious blend of color. It's not、uh, too sudden or too. Too much,、um, too much contradictory contradiction. So it's this dreaming color, and、um, and、uh, he wrote. He must be written these characters with sharpie and then spray some alcohol. This is what I guess. I might be wrong, but it's a very typical and.、Uh, Uh、oh, watercolor pencil on canvas! Wow, this is watercolor pencil on canvas. So, handwritten and then spray water or wash with、uh, with water. This must be also watercolor pencil on canvas with these、uh, funny, interesting lines,、uh, neon color. They are usually quite clean, and at the end, I think he need to increase his hygiene level, right? <laughs> That's a little bit dirty. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, he's not my student, so he can do whatever he like. I usually like. <sighs> It's not. Me to make critic. So all these colors are quite harmonious, and there is another piece of art which is striking. So in front of us, the artist is Barry McGee. We will go, we will go close to see the artist name, but、uh, I like this one. I like this one because uh, it's. Uh, Refreshing. There is something beautiful, pleasant, and pleasing to the eye. The color, color change. There is a freedom of choosing 
a very bright color and choosing very interesting style and there is beauty of this uh, this repetitive pattern of each individual piece and there is beauty of uh, a clean neat cut and there is the freedom of combining them just uh, randomly without a particular order or particular Sorry, okay hello dear friends so the museum is closed so i come out to this place to enjoy some fresh air and uh, do some reading if i want my hair is so <laughs> isn't it beautiful right the hotan garden Life is beautiful. When you are close to beautiful things, to sensible things, when you are enjoying the full eyeful of goodness happy every day i love you i really do 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 do